Hey, Jerison. I'm really excited to work with you in service today. You know, I actually really want to concentrate on some of my return visits. And specifically, I have in mind uh, a man I called on before. His name is Bernie. And the last time I was there, I left him the question, why do we suffer? So I think my plan today is I'm going to read him 1 John 5.19 and then possibly ask him who he thinks controls the world. Well, that's an excellent idea. Now, if I could uh, add something, I would suggest that you show him the video, Why Does God Allow Suffering? You know, it's a short video, and I'm sure Ernie would really benefit from watching it. That is a great idea. Thank you for that. So how about you? Do you have a return visit you want to try today? Yes, I do, actually. I like to call on Adrian. Let me tell you a little background. When I first called on him, I found out that he was raised as a Baptist. So when we spoke about God's name, he asked me why we use the name Jehovah and not Yahweh. So I was thinking using the lesson number four of the Enjoy Live Forever book, and especially showing him the video, Does God Have a Name? Wow, that, that's a great idea, to son. And uh, you know, if he actually wants to know more, it might be good to keep in mind some of those points we learned uh, from our New World Translation, Appendix A4, and it talks about the translation of God's name. So that might be helpful for him as well. You know, thank you. That's a that's an excellent idea. Very good. So, Adrian, or um, Gerson, what do you what do you think you might do if Adrian doesn't pick up the phone when you call? Maybe his wife picks up the phone. What do you think you'll do? Well, that's uh, that's actually a good question. Um, I can always be prepared with a short presentation for her circumstances. See, they are struggling with financial problems. So maybe I can read Psalm 72, 16, where it says uh, that we are told that there will be an abundance of food. What about you? What would you say if Ernie says something like, I'm busy right now? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll ask him uh, when's a better time for me to come back. Maybe give him a time that it's better for me to come back. But you know what? Maybe before I leave, I might ask him if he had one minute to spare so that he can, I can share with him the scripture I already planned to share with him. That way I can keep his mind focused on spiritual things until the next time I return. I think that's a good plan. Well, I think we're ready to start. Would you like to go ahead and try to call Ernie first? Sure, yeah, I'll give it a try. And, and I'd love to listen in as you do your call as well. How's that sound? Sounds great, let's get it started. Nice job, brothers. <laughs> Very nice job. We appreciate that. So then our uh, question 